Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day, and in today's video we are gonna check out, oh no, what's this called? Scourgebringer, 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 <laughs> dear lord help me, it's one of those days, Scourge, what's a Scourge, Scourgebringer, um, and you're probably like, why is RMC playing this game? Well, it isn't announced for a uh, Switch yet. Oh, and I'm already... I, I gotta get back into the swing of things. I only played this... Oh, I played it for maybe like a half hour last night. Okay, this isn't going well. That's alright, talk and playing, whatever. We'll, we'll get it to work, we'll get it to work. I only lost ten pieces of health. Or three pieces of health. Yeah, this isn't uh, officially confirmed for Switch yet. Uh, but I always say I will show you something interesting if I if I find it. And I heard about this game. And I'm doing terrible. Uh, this comes from the team who did <clears throat> Neurovoider. And they're aiming to uh, do a roguelite uh, with uh, Celeste-style visuals and somewhat style uh, gameplay as well. And it's in... Uh, you know, I never remember... Early Access. Haha, <laughs> I did remember this time. It's an Early Access now on Steam. Oh, dear. This is... I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh, it's in Early Access on Steam, and I was like, Celeste, that's one of my favorite games. Uh, and I saw that the gameplay was a little bit different, but I was like, yeah, you know, I'll give it a shot anyway. Um, and I do like it a lot. Um... Celeste, I would say, it, it's certainly like Celeste in visuals. I find the, I find the visuals here to be gorgeous, um, and really well animated. And this is just early access gameplay wise. Uh, I wouldn't really call it like Celeste because, uh, Celeste, you know, is really, really, really focused on platforming. It doesn't have so much to do with combat. Um, and this is really combat based, but uh, you are doing you are stringing together a lot of interesting moves Which is what you do in Celeste. So uh, the uh, You know obviously they're putting I, I Believe the developer themselves are saying like, you know, uh, or tying the game to Celeste. Sorry I'm putting my phone on vibrate um, And you know, it's it's warranted. I think if you have some sort of interest in Celeste you will at least be uh, intrigued in this. 85%? Nope. Nope. Weapons drop randomly upon finishing. I'm sure. Let's try that one. So, I, with, as with any roguelite, uh, you know, you're going through rooms randomly generate, although, you know, each dungeon, I guess you'll call it, has the same style of uh, visuals. So, you know, every... The, I, I haven't made it past the first dungeon yet. But this is how it looks, but the level layout is different. Uh, and the, the room structures are pretty much the same. They'll throw together a couple different elements from time to time. Large spread with the ability to push back. Oh my, that's very nice. <laughs> um, so you can see in the map, I was over there. You can see in the map in the upper right hand corner that uh, that's my layout right now. And you wander around and you try and find basically the mini boss. And you defeat the mini boss, and that will unlock the room to the main boss. And you have to find where the mini boss is, and then you have to find where the boss is. Sometimes you find them right away, other times, not so much. Um, but it is certainly what a roguelite needs to be. Is it roguelite or roguelike? Roguelite. I'm going with roguelite. Uh, in the sense that the gameplay loop is very uh, addictive, feels good. You feel like you're making progress even, oh boy, even though you have to keep going back to the beginning. Um, in between each round you have a chance to level up stuff depending on what you picked up along the way. There's this guy who sells you stuff, but he's bad. He's, he, his name is Greed. He's like, yeah, give me blood. And you can get these things. Uh, I do want, I've never bought anything from this guy because I, I know he helps out, but he's a bad guy. I'm going to go... Whoa, this is bad. I'm going pure. If I die, I die. That's the way it goes. I don't want to go out uh, being uh, <clears throat> friends with this greedy guy. So you're... <clears throat> well, well... Well... <laughs> that would have been a perfect time to explain that, but I died. Uh, I will explain it in a second. Upgrade. I have... Oh, I don't have any. God darn it. I, need, I don't have any whatever they are. See, bottom right-hand corner. 
<clears throat> blood blood thingies. I don't have any. Um, when you see enemies that have exclamation points above them, that means uh, you can go in for a heavy hit. And if you do, if you land the heavy hit, they become stunned. Oh, let's go up. That's uh, really important because sometimes enemies are very difficult. And you need to stun them to get some really big hits on, or do some real damage on. Judges drop more items. Enemies are stunned for 50% of the time. For each enemy killed while not touching around, hide it. Hmm. One of these two. I'm doing this one. Uh. Yeah. Let's go back down and go in the side door. Uh, so yeah, it's very challenging. It feels really good when you string together moves. There's the exclamation points I was talking about, but there, these are little enemies. I don't, oh, here's a big one. Oh, there you go. Now he's stunned. See, he's got the stars. I only got hit once. That's okay. I don't really bother with stunning anybody but the uh, big guys because the other ones aren't really trouble. Strange egg that gives me two health. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, these floors down here when the enemies are active have spikes that shoot out of them, so it makes <laughs> it makes f makes fighting that much more difficult in those rooms, because you can only touch the ground for like a second before they come out. So I try to avoid them altogether. Um, ooh, as you can see, you have a regular hit, you have a big attack, you have a double jump, you have a dash, and the dash, as long as you connect with somebody, you can... Oh boy. Come on. Ooh, the big guys... I mean, no! There we go. This is perfect. Big guys obviously do really big attacks, so you want to stun them uh, when the exclamation point comes up, or you're really going to have to take cover, because they pack in a lot of punch. Alright, this is a boss door. So I have to find the mini-boss, the sub-boss, whatever you want to call it, and defeat that to get in. Um, and um, there's only been one sub-boss that I, one sub-boss type that I've seen so far, but it's a lot of fun. It involves a lot of dodging. Oh, here we go. Now, see, the floors are here. This guy's here. I don't want to fight him over there. See there? The spikes went up. Whew, haven't gotten hit. All that fighting in this room, and there's nothing to do. <laughs> uh, so hopefully I find the sub-boss, and you can see what he's all about. Um, it's a, The sub-boss is a great way to teach you uh, how to deal with enemies when they have the exclamation point, because I was wondering how I was stunning enemies. Oh, boy. I was wondering how I was stunning enemies sometimes, because I the game didn't teach me that, or the game taught me and I missed it. Um, and I learned it by fighting the the mini boss, because he does a lot of crazy. Well, he does a, a lot of uh, shooting, and it's hard to get a hit on him, and there's not a lot of time to do it, so you have to wait for. Or your best chance is to hit him. There's a lot of guys here. Oh, I got hit a little bit. What are you going to do? The best chance is to hit him <clears throat> when he's... Or go in for the stun when he's got the exclamation point. And then you can work in some big damage. You'll uh, you'll see if I get to him. And hopefully I won't die. I've been beating the sub-boss pretty regularly. I've gotten to... Oh, boy. I slipped. Sorry I stopped talking. I just don't want to get hit anymore. Reveals the full map. Sure, I'll take that. Whoops. If I hit the right button. Um, you'll see, whatever you'll see. Here he is. So he has the exclamation point as soon as he pops up, but he keeps disappearing. Oh boy. <sighs> the damn spikes. Oh no. <sighs> of course, because I'm recording, this is the worst I've ever done. <laughs> I need more health. Well, okay. We beat the mini-boss. We could wander around some more. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go right for the boss. I just want to give a quick look at this game. Because, uh, like I said, it's not announced for Switch. But I have no doubt it's coming to Switch. The developer supports Switch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The developer supports Switch. Um, they brought Norovoider to Switch. And they found a lot of success with it there get up there. Uh, so I'd be very surprised if this game doesn't come to Switch. It's kind of like a whoop! It's kind of like a Dead Cells situation. 
It was one of the, uh, while the NeuroVoider devs haven't said that they want to bring this game to Switch, I don't think they've mentioned any platform in specific. Uh, but I would be shocked if this didn't come to Switch. Switch seems like a perfect place for this kind of game. I made a mistake. I deserve it. One more hit and I'm dead. Here it comes. Ugh. Oh, I blew it. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Okay, come on, go in the center and do your thing. Oh boy, God, I hate dodging it. Yes! Well, at least I didn't... Oh no, oh no! At least I didn't go down right away. I wanna... Whoa, oh boy! Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! That was going so well! Ah... <sighs> This is one of those games where you're like, I could do a little bit better. Alright, so I got a blood drop I can spend it on. Allows the fast travel any visit a room from the map. Something I don't really care about, but the other one I can buy is two. I don't have two, so. I'll buy the one. Um, I guess that's it, really. Uh, there is shooting, obviously, which you, saw, uh, which you saw a little bit of. But I don't tend to shoot too much. Just because it's not all that powerful. Um, and I said I was only going to do to the boss and end it, so I'm going to stay true to that. I'll just play while I'm talking you guys out. Um, so thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. <clears throat> Damn it. Also, a huge thank you to those of you who support the Patreon. I really appreciate it. It allows me to do fun stuff like this. And it helps me with the site in general. <clears throat> uh, the podcast, social media... All that good stuff. It really does help out. So thank you to those who have supported. If you want to learn more about the Patreon, which is just a dollar, you can check out a link in the description below. But as for today, that is it. So I'll be back tomorrow as long as I have something interesting to show you. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours.